We are pedaling over to the post office. I have some things to mail out to bike shops and REI locations for work. Also testing out some Cyclic camera versus GoPro cameras on this ride. And it's just a beautiful day in the middle of February, so I wanted to capture it so I have something to hold on to if it gets wet and cold again the rest of uh, early spring. So right now I am riding down the Little Booker Creek, which is like a 0.8 mile greenway. I have in my head a little short film I want to do on this very short greenway, but it allows me to connect safely and do so much Chapel Hill and allows me to really be car light. So I love this little greenway. So back to the point of hitting record, testing out the Cyclic Fly 12 Sport on the front versus the GoPro Hero 10. And then on the back, I'm testing out the Cyclic Fly 6 CE, which is the rear taillight, versus the GoPro Hero 9. And I'm just gonna see what the footage looks like. I'm on a pretty stiff bike right now, 20 inch wheels, no suspension, no front suspension. Tires are a little bit soft, but still a pretty stiff ride. Still interested to see how the vibration everything goes. Pulled over so I can show you what we're testing. This is that Cyclic 12 Sport. I have it in the highest resolution that takes 30 frames per second. So it's not the highest because I want that faster frame rate. Hero 10 at 5.3K with 30 frames per second. And this is using a snap mount bike setup that I've been testing. You can just twist it and take it off with you, which is nice. Been using their other setup, which is on my hand right now. So this is magnetic and I can just quickly take that camera, snap it onto here. The camera I'm using right now has a magnet like that and I just snap it on and off. This one is a twist turn, so that adds a little bit more stability. If I was mountain biking or something, I probably wouldn't use this mount. Or if I did, I would have a lanyard around it to attach to my handlebars, just to keep it nice and safe. My handlebar looks really busy right now. I've got my little pouch right here, Velcro, keeping the cables out of the way. Then on the back, this is the Fly 6 CE. Sorry for the blinking. And then this is the Hero 10 in 5K 30 frames per second using my favorite Phytech handlebar mount, just sideways mounted. This footage is gonna be a little bit crooked, but that was the straightest bar that I could put. If I put it here, it kind of interfered um, so I'm definitely going to be playing with that. I think up here would be best, but I worry that my daughter's going to bounce into it. So I definitely need to fine tune this mount for the next ride. All right, let's keep riding. Interestingly, here in Chapel Hill, it is legal to bike on the sidewalk, all parts of town, except for downtown um, stretch of Franklin that has a bike lane. So a lot of times on these busy roads, I'm just gonna take the sidewalk with my head on a swivel, making sure no cars are turning into me. And it's not ideal, but it's definitely safer and really the only way that I can get to some of the places I need to go there's gonna be some sort of greenway to, let's say 60% of my rides, but then the last 40, it's a lot of cut through neighborhood back streets out of the way, keeping off those busy roads. And if there's no other option, I'm gonna then ride the sidewalk uh, carefully, making sure nobody's turning Riding the sidewalk is definitely dangerous, but it's less dangerous than 
riding on some of those 35 mile per hour roads that people are going 45 without any space for you. So when I arrived to the post office, I realized there's no bike rack. So I backed into the space and locked up the rear of my bike. And then I had to take off all the cameras, then came back out, you know, put all the stuff back on and get back on to get home. We are back on my beloved little Booker Creek. This little 0.8 mile greenway definitely is my prized possession. If you watched my video about moving to a more biking and walking friendly community, a lot of it was because of this short little greenway. I just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna finish this ride, pull the footage from the cameras, see how it looks. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll be finishing up the review of the cycling cameras here in the next week. So make sure you hit like and subscribe. And when that video is ready, I will post it here on the left side so you can click on it. All right, until next time, stay well, stay good. Remember, bike more and worry less. This little strip on the side of the road is a neighborhood Orange Street walking path, if you're wondering. Not sold on it.